Welcome back to Elevation 44. It's your girl B. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, this is the first time I am filming directly from my computer. So if things seem a little weird with me, with me looking all over the place, <laughs> bear with me and keep that in mind. Like this is my first time doing it. So I'm trying to remember to look up at the camera and not at the screen. Um, but there's a good reason why I'm filming from my computer, which I'll give you in a second. Um, but just in short, I will say we are going through the Pisces new moon uh, today in this video. So I'm just going to kind of give a high level overview of what you can expect with this Pisces new moon. I kind of previewed a little bit of it during the Pisces uh, season video and how to use Pisces season to your advantage. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna touch on that and then I'm gonna tell you how I'm personally gonna be using it and then, you know, also give you another idea on another way that you can um, use this energy or this Pisces new moon if you don't want to go the route that I am particularly going to show you today, all right? So this Pisces new moon is happening on February 19th, okay? So on February 19th, that is one day after Pisces season kicks off. And for those of you who are new to astrology, Pisces is the last zodiac sign. It's the 12th zodiac sign. So it pretty much wraps up the cycle. But Pisces energy is great for creativity. It's great for imagination. It's great for just dreaming big. It's great for like all of just the feely feels, the cre like just really getting into like just expanding, expanding your mind, expanding your vision, just just floating out there. And sometimes that's necessary. We can't always be so like just rooted in the practical and the here and now. Um, that's important, but we do need that balance of, you know, being able to see beyond the wall, see beyond what's in front of us, which is what Pisces helps us do. Um, so that is going to be a lot of like the energy or the influence. Pisces uh, new moon is also probably a good time to reflect on ways because Pisces energy is also the place where we want to escape, right? We want to kind of be out floating in the ethers for better or for worse in terms of like, yes, floating in the ethers better in terms of dreaming up something big and having imagination and all these ideas and, you know, feeling the feels and this creativity. And then also being floating out there and like, I just want to escape reality. I don't want to deal with anything. So I'm just going to be out here floating and dealing with nothing. And we don't ever want it to be on that side because then it's an imbalance, right? So it makes you also face the ways that you could be escaping and maybe setting some intentions around how do I ground myself more? How do I face the things that I need to face and stop running from things? It really gets really deep into your subconscious mind. So that's one of the ideas on how you can use this Pisces new moon is really focusing, setting intentions, being real with yourself and thinking about all the ways that you're using tactics in your own daily life to escape things that you don't want to deal with. But for me, I want to focus on creating a dream board because a new moon is all about like basically setting or planting the seeds, setting the things in motion um, that you want to have uh, come out of it. So for me, it's all about a dream board. Um, and I have a vision board for my year ahead, but I'm like, ooh, I really, really want to not only just focus on my year ahead vision board, I want a, I want a grand dream board. So I'm gonna dream and I want you to dream with me and we're gonna create this dream board together. Um, we're gonna do it a digital one because I love having either my phone, lock screen, you know, to be able to see this or having it on the desktop, on the background of my desktop, on my computer. So we're gonna create a digital one. You can create a physical one if you want. You can sketch or draw one, paint one. You can do whatever you want, but what we're gonna be focusing on today is dreaming and using this, our creativity and this Pisces energy to really fuel all of that. Um, so that we're not playing it small, that, and that we're seeing a visual reminder every day of what w the dream life that we want to have, right? And whatever that looks like to you, it could be as grand or as small as you want it to be. Like your dreams are your dreams and 
they're not right or wrong, right? So that's what we're gonna do together. So we're gonna use Canva. If, uh, those of you who are familiar with Canva, it is a website online or an app where you can download it on your phone, you can go online to the website, it's free. And we're just gonna pull some images together and create a beautiful dream board. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So what I have pulled up is canva so you can just go to google search and just literally type in canva.com and it'll bring you here okay so i'm gonna go here to templates and what i'm gonna create is um and you already see i was searching <laughs> for what i wanted before but i want to create um something from my phone like a little you know digital dream board for my lock screen so that every time I look down at my phone because that's the most grab item or thing that I am grabbing for every day that I am constantly seeing my dreams they're constantly top of mind so um you can just type in a uh, lock screen or phone wallpaper um yeah and I think Let's see, which one should I choose? Let's just say lock, lock screen wallpaper. And look, a bunch of them have come up. Um, so we're just gonna, you can scroll through, pick the one that is to your liking. Um, let me see which one's giving me a good vibe or aesthetic. And don't worry about like all the stuff on it. Like I'll show you how to easily delete that. And again, this is free. Canva is free guys. Um, some of their pro features are not free, like to access certain pictures and stuff like that. But for the most part, a lot of things on here are free. So let's see. Hmm. Which one am I feeling? Which one am I feeling? Let's go with this. And so in order to get rid of things, all you have to do is click on something. And you see that little trash clan? You can just press delete and it's gone. So you can get rid of different things on here. Like there's this like, I don't know, circle with stars or whatever. I think it's supposed to be celestial, but I'm not feeling it, so goodbye. Um, and so you can get rid of different elements like that. So now I'm just left with the background and this is gonna be a good starting point for making my dream board. Now, I don't want any text on mine, but if you want text, you can easily just go right here to the left hand side, click text and you can pull up different types of text. Some of the texts are pro, so you can't access it unless you have a pro account. Um, but usually like just basic text, like if you want to put a basic text, that's free. And then you can change the font up here and you can change the size, you can change the color. So there's so much you can do um, with it. Um, I don't want any writing on mine, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And let's go on ahead and find some pictures so that we can put on our dream board. Now, before starting this, I did do a little pre-work. I did put together like a little list of, a short list of like some things that I would like to, you know, manifest in my life, just dreaming um, big, right? So where I'm gonna go is to Pinterest now. And I've already got Pinterest pulled up. And you already see what I'd be searching on my Pinterest, nail designs and food. <laughs> like, it's just, it's a vibe over here, right? Um, anyway, so I go to Pinterest and then I'm going to search for the pictures that I want. Now, alternatively, in Canva, if we go back to our little board, so if you're doing this, like you can do the phone wallpaper, you can do a desktop wallpaper, whatever size you wanna do, you can do and fill up with as many pictures and stuff like you, you want. You also have the opportunity to go here to photos and search photos. A lot of the photos are pro. There are free photos here. So I like to just go to Pinterest to find exactly what I'm looking for. And those pictures are always free. So that's just a little tidbit for you um, if you are using the free version. But if you have the pro version, go for it. You know, get your pictures from Canva, do your thing, do your thing. So one thing, um, the first item on my dream board, if I'm dreaming big, at one point, I would love to build my own house um, or find my dream home. Like, like that's just, I feel like it just was made for me, right? So 
we're gonna go ahead and search for a home aesthetic so um um house outer design let's see let's see if we find something that's just speaks to me i like the corner of this one let's let's download this i just like the way that little corner looks um Ooh, i like this kitchen i know that we were looking to look at a house but the kitchen is giving me vibes so i'm going to download this and i'm saving it down here and then i'm gonna pull it into my thing so the way you upload pictures is if you go to uploads you can literally drag it up here and you should be able to access so i want to get a luxury car i have one here i already saved that I'm looking at in terms of a model. It may not be the final one, but I'm gonna go ahead and add that picture. So I went ahead and dumped in the rest of the pictures that I wanna include on this dream board for now. Um, a couple pictures represent the fact that I would love to travel throughout Southeast Asia and visit you know, different countries there. And then another picture I have is of Japan, and that's just to represent that I'd like to bring my son to Japan one day. Um, so, that is my dream board for now. Wow, that was so much fun. And like, I didn't even know that switching things up like this would have given me so much life. <laughs> I'm glad that I listened to my intuition, which is another Pisces trait, listening to that intuition, because my subconscious mind just kept telling me the way that I was doing these formatting of these videos it was just kind of getting boring and stale to me. Um, So I needed to infuse some life into the situation. So I hope this was helpful for you seeing how I use this Pisces um, new moon energy and ways that you can use it as well to help you further along your goals or you know the things that you're you're, you're doing and working on in your own particular life um and it was just a really fun exercise to walk through together um i also want to leave you with the fact that there are products on the website to help support um so if you are looking for anything you know physical that can help you through the process of you know your new moons your full moons um, I'll leave all those details down in the description box where you can find uh, products um, to help support you. And I'm always here too to support you in terms of if you want a new moon or a full moon reading. I have that uh, service available as well. So, you know, hit your girl up if you are looking for a little bit deeper personal insight on these energies and how you can best use them. Um, but yeah, that's it. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed again, and I, if you like this format of this video and the way that this is going, you know, give a thumbs up. Would love to hear your feedback, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.